Are you looking for some simple, fun, hands-on activities to do with the kids this month as you prepare for Thanksgiving? Well, I have got four Thanksgiving activities that are not only fun at home with the kids, but they're also so simple and easy that you can bring them along with you on the road if you're traveling to see family and friends this holiday season. So get everybody ready for these four simple, very easy ideas. The first is to write Thanksgiving acrostic poems. Acrostics are a really simple writing activity that even young children can participate in with a little help. You just take a word like turkey or pie or pumpkin, you write it vertically on the page, and then that letter is the first letter of the, each line of the poem. So they don't have to be Shakespeare. These can be fun and silly and just don't take the take yourself too seriously or expect too much of the kids. This isn't school, this is just fun. So this is even something you can do on lengthy road trips to keep everyone occupied. So for example, let's take the word pie. My acrostic poem is plenteous bounty in pumpkin, apple, and pecan, eat them all. And yes, I'm Southern and I call it pecan, but you probably call it pecan, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the next idea is Thanksgiving thankfulness leaves. So you start with leaf outlines. I have some free printables for email subscribers over at humilityanddoxology.com. Or you can just like cut out a simple leaf shape out of construction paper or cardstock. And then each person writes something they're thankful for on each individual leaf. And you can tape it up on a door frame or a door or a window. I actually have a friend who cut out a simple trunk and branches out of brown paper and taped it to their wall for an actual Thanksgiving thankfulness tree, which I think is a really fun idea. So even young children, again, can participate in this if someone will write the words for them or they can draw a picture of what they're thankful for. This can also be a party or a dinner activity, but you can also just slowly complete it in the weeks leading up to Thanksgiving to really focus on that grateful heart in those weeks. And you can just leave like a stack of leaves and a pen out on the counter and people can write what, what, they're, what they're thankful for as inspiration strikes. And then make sure you set aside time to read those leaves out loud together at the dinner table. This can be a really great family Thanksgiving tradition. If you don't have a place to display leaves or you're traveling, another really simple alternative is to just cut out strips of paper, have a jar, a pen, you know, you can bring that with you to, to grandparents' house and just encourage everyone who gathers through the day to write things they're thankful for on those strips of paper, put them in the jar, and then again, you can pull them out and read it while everyone is around the table together. Another little thankfulness activity is a really fun one, and I have a fun family story to share about this. So this is corn kernels of Thanksgiving. Now, there is a legend surrounding the five kernels of corn um, with the pilgrims, and I actually include that poem in my Thanksgiving morning time resource pack. So you just want to use some like unpopped popcorn kernels, just simple little corn kernels. And you can do this two different ways. One way is you can give each person five kernels of the popcorn, of the corn, and go around the table, and as they take out each piece of corn, they say one thing they're thankful for. Another fun way to do this is not tell anyone what you're going to be doing and just sort of pass around a bowl and say, take as many or as few corn kernels as you like, and then tell everyone, okay, now look at the corn kernels in your hand. You have to say something you're thankful for, for each of those corn kernels. I remember once when I was a young child, my mom brought this activity to a family Thanksgiving dinner and my aunt grabbed huge handfuls of corn kernels. And it was kind of funny when she realized what she had gotten herself in for. Okay, another really fun, easy idea is to make hand print Thanksgiving turkeys. You guys, we've all done this, right? Where you take your hand and you trace the outline and you turn this, you know, oh, turn the hand this way. You turn this part into the head of the turkey and you color the feathers. You can even add a face or little legs, okay? So this is something that's so simple and you can do this anywhere. I think this is really great to have those go-to thematic 
um, plans for maybe if you're at someone's home that isn't exactly child friendly, you can probably find somewhere a newsprint or even a paper towel, a paper napkin, and a pen. It's just a way to kind of keep the kids occupied. They can decorate the turkey, give it a little hat, or, you know, just whatever. Let the creativity soar. It's a way to keep them quiet. It's a simple activity. It's easily transportable. And it's kind of fun. I still enjoy it and do it every year. I share a picture of one of my simple little uh, Thanksgiving handprint turkeys over at my blog, and I'll put that link down below. Now, I hope this kind of gives you a picture that Thanksgiving activities don't have to be complicated. I'm not a super arts and crafts mom, but I found easy ways to bring these Thanksgiving activities and crafts into our life in a way that fits our family's needs. Now, if you have the desire to do something a little bit uh, more extra, I have rounded up some great resources from friends who are much more creative than I am, and I will include that link down below in the uh, description of this video. We can enjoy family re relationships, exercises in gratitude, and even a little silly fun without glitter, without stress, without spending any money. I hope that this has kind of encouraged you and given you some good ideas for your Thanksgiving crafts. And if you have any favorite family Thanksgiving traditions or crafts, I would love to hear about those down below. I also want to mention that I have a Thanksgiving morning time and resource pack available, and this will lead you each day of morning time through the month of November with some poetry and read alouds and hymns, uh, just a really beautiful, easy way to bring Thanksgiving into your homeschool day. I would love for you to check that out. And I also have a free Thanksgiving book list available. You can print that out, take it with you to the library, or check things off as you read them through the month with your family. Super fun. And again, all those links will be down in the description of this video.